Hello everyone, hi, hi and welcome back. Hope you're all well, hope you're all well. Now, today, carrying on with ESP32, okay? Carrying on with our ESP32. And we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna do something completely different because in the future, we're gonna be using different, different screens like this OLED. Okay, this little OLED we're going to be using in our next video. Um, OLED, organic liquid emitting diode, I think. That seems to ring a bell. And also in a, a future project, a bit down the line, we're going to be using a colour OLED. All right, we're going to be using a colour OLED. I've only just got that working. It took me about two days. <laughs> So what we need to do, we need to find that these have, these work on I2C, okay, I2C. And we need to find out the I2C address, right? We need to find out the I2C address. But on this occasion, we are not going to write the sketch, all right? We are not going to write the sketch. What I am going to do is leave a link below in the description to where you can copy the sketch and paste it into Arduino. Now, I, don't, I know we don't normally do this, but this is just a quick one. We can copy, paste it and save it. And you can use it for finding future, future uh, I2C addresses. All right, so let me go across to this view. Hopefully you can see this, all right. Hopefully you can see this. So, include y dot h, so greater than, uh, less than, greater than. We've got our void set up. The important thing is to make sure you've got the correct board rate, same as your serial monitor. Remember on the Arduino, we had not, was it 9200, 9800? Well, with the ESP32, because it's faster, we can use a faster board rate board rate basically communication rate right between the ESP32 and your serial monitor on your computer all right then we got the loop all right and in the loop loads of uh, we got three ints in error in address in device then if it's successful finds your I2C device uh, it prints a line serial dot print line devices found right you might have two i2c components or modules within your build all right and then it says this is the this is where i want the address to go all right we have a four a four command no semicolon remember then begin the transmission and it gives you our address Right, once it's given you the address, or well, there's an error, end transmission. All right. Error equals equals zero. Another if command. Zero dot print the zero x. And then the address less than 16. Less than 16. Zero print zero. All right. Zero print line, and now uh, just a uh, important: the I two C address is in hex decimal. Okay, hex decimal. Uh, computers um, think like addresses use hex decimal. Every component, every component that's built, computer, um, single board computer has what they call a MAC address, Media Access Control, I think it stands for, and they're all in hexadecimal, right, the MAC address. Okay, so every single one, and they're all individual, they're all individual. All right, so then that gives us our address. If there's an error, and they don't find your I2C device, we has we have this else if command right and it will print 
but again address in hex all right okay and then we come down and if it doesn't find device no i choose c device is found and it delays by five all right remember how to start the serial port a serial monitor start it up <coughs> and here you can see device is found all right device is found and then it gives me my i2c address all right for my my little um monitor so if i go there you can see there's mine already plugged in ready to rock and roll for the next video all right so there you go just a quick one as i say that again the link is below the link is below and uh you'll be able to get this sketch from there okay until the next video thanks very much please give us a thumbs up all right please subscribe and comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye bye